talking about recovery from a mastectomy, the time period for recovery really is based on the type of reconstruction that one has. So the first decision with a mastectomy is, do you have reconstruction or not? If you do not have reconstruction, typically you're in the hospital overnight and home the next day with what we call drains, a small tube that collects some fluid from underneath the skin. That drain usually stays in about a week or so. But again, we're not operating on muscle. So pain is not really an enormous factor here. The emotional aspect is undeniable. And that is all part of the recovery, is the emotional recovery from having your breast removed. With reconstruction, it then depends on what type of reconstruction you have. The two main types of reconstruction are using an implant or using your own tissue, and that can come from various aspects of the body. So that's really the main types of breast reconstruction. If you're using an implant, you're in the hospital for a day or two and go home with a drain, a small tube that collects some fluid. Um, you're out of work several weeks. It's somewhat uncomfortable um, because the implant is placed underneath the muscle and the muscle is being stretched out. And that's where the discomfort or pain comes from. But again, with pain medication, it's very tolerable. The other type of reconstruction is using your own tissue, either from your abdominal or belly area, or you can use the uh, tissue right over the latissimus muscle on your back. With that, the recovery and the discomfort is from what we call the donor site, where we got that tissue from, not the breast area. And that's really where the discomfort and pain come from. Again, with pain medication, very, uh, very controllable. Uh, most women are out of work for several weeks, perhaps up to six weeks with that type of reconstruction.